Today is the happiest day of my professional career. John is finally retiring. Oh my gosh. So many plans, so many things I want to change. It just feels like a weight has been lifted. We're going to throw the biggest party ever to celebrate. Celebrate him. What a beautiful day. I can't wait to plan this party and for John to retire. Uh, so much to celebrate. All right, let's hear some ideas. What about a big musical number, like um, memories from Cats or, uh, you know, so long, farewell, I'll be... Oh. Ooh, what about a poetry reading? We could do like, do not go gentle into that good night. I love that one. He's not dead. Yet. I mean, I don't think it has to be a big production. A card, some beer, I don't know what else he could want. I mean, he's already getting paid out for like 400 sick days. I mean, when I leave, I'm leaving and I'm just never coming back. How many more years do I have, Chad? Five, ten? Not even close. <sighs> yeah, this is not just a party for John, it's a party for us to celebrate an era ending. A new beginning full of hope and possibilities. I mean, let's run out a whole bar. Nope. We're gonna have a party for John. We must follow all board policies, rules, procedures, and articles of the collective bargaining agreement. I don't care how long John has been teaching. We will follow all policies. And besides, John's not getting squat until I get my Thespian card. Look, it doesn't really matter anyway. We have no money left in the department budget for post-it notes after I ordered 200 more copies of To Kill a Mockingbird. Tequila Mockingbird? Oh, we should have tequila! What if we sold some of the old books we have lying around? No one teaches Oedipus anymore. Yeah, my therapist mentions that book all the time. You know, I do think John's left some books lying around the auditorium. What are these books then here? Why aren't they barcoded? Let's at least try to agree on a gift. We can at least chip in a couple of dollars. Do you have an idea? Let's, I'll make a list. So what does John like? Okay, what does John hate? Communication. Emails. People. Lesson plans. Ooh, we can make margaritas with the tequila. Uh, oh, okay. Noise-canceling headphones. I mean, if we're gonna go through all of this, we might as well get some good food at least. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not in charge of this part. What's the big deal? John hates food. What do you mean? Well, he hates potlucks. He hates eating around other people. Great. I mean, how often have you actually seen John eat a meal? My gosh, you're right. I've had lunch with John for like 10 years and I've only seen him eat a banana or maybe a granola bar. So only food shaped like dicks? Well, we have to eat something. What's he worried about, germs? Sure. I think I know it can fix that. Done. I think it's more about just other people touching his food or being near his food, or other people being near where his food is. I have an idea. Finally, we need to talk about interviews to find John's replacement. Yes! We're gonna do interviews next week. I wanna get all of your feedback and look at the kind of candidate you want. Not listen to any of it and hire whoever I want anyway. We need a fresh start. Someone with, you know, a new perspective, new ideas. I agree. We shouldn't just try to find another John. Hey, my grandpa's name is John. Well, let's start with some qualities that we're looking for, things that aren't like John. Friendly. Patient. Works well with others. Organized. Easygoing. Not named John. Likes foods not shaped like dicks. Well, I do have some information about the applicants. Their pictures of the top three candidates are on the board. Why do you have their headshots? Don't worry about it. No, I don't think any of these candidates are going to work. You know what? I have the perfect person to replace John. 
So over here is the prop room. Up there are the lights. I'm thinking about putting a kitchen over here, maybe a refrigerator, an air fryer. I'm making lots of changes. Oh, sounds good. What do I have to do? Just everything I say. Well, how hard would that be? You know, even though I am really excited for the future, I will miss John. You can only get away with being that big of a dick if deep down you're a really good person. Rage! Rage against the dying of the light! You know, this turned out really well. It did. I'm really gonna miss Johnny. Me too. Wait, where's John? Well, I sent him an email, but you know how he is. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers.